There are four approaches for GERD treatment, including medication and surgery. Often, patients respond well to a combination of lifestyle changes and a medication regimen. Some patients do not find satisfactory relief from those methods and require surgical intervention. Other patients may choose surgery as an alternative to a lifetime of taking medication. What's up, fellow human? I'm Joshua, and this is the Stomach Health Channel, where I'm going to discuss different facts, remedies, and such about your gut. Now, let's get on with the video. Treatment for GERD includes lifestyle and dietary changes, medication, endoscopic therapy, surgery, GERD treatment, lifestyle, and dietary changes. Dietary and lifestyle changes are the first step in treating GERD. Certain foods make the reflux worse. Suggestions to help alleviate symptoms include lose weight if you are overweight. Of all of the lifestyle changes you can make, this one is the most effective. Avoid foods that increase the level of acid in your stomach, including caffeinated beverages. Avoid foods that decrease the pressure in the lower esophagus, such as fatty foods, alcohol, and peppermint. Avoid foods that affect peristalsis, the muscle movements in your digestive tract, such as coffee, alcohol, and acidic liquids. Avoid foods that slow gastric emptying, including fatty foods. Avoid large meals. Quit smoking. Do not lie down immediately after a meal. Elevate the level of your head when you lie down. What would you think about these? Have you experienced this or tried some? Comment down below your experiences. And if you think these are useful, a like and subscribe would be really awesome for the growth of my channel. And also, don't forget about the bell icon below. Let's get it on. If lifestyle and dietary changes do not work, your doctor may prescribe certain medications. There are two categories of medicines for reflux. One decreases the level of acid in your stomach, and one increases the level of motility, movement, in the upper gastrointestinal tract. Antacids Over-the-counter antacids are best for intermittent and relatively infrequent symptoms of reflux. When taken frequently, antacids may worsen the problem. They leave the stomach quickly, and your stomach actually increases acid production as a result. Histamine blockers Histamine 2, H2, blockers or drugs that help lower acid secretion. H2 blockers heal esophageal erosions in about 50% of patients. Proton pump inhibitors Proton pump inhibitors, PPI, are drugs that block the three major pathways for acid production. PPIs suppress acid production much more effectively than H2 blockers. PPIs heal erosive esophagitis in many patients, even those with severe esophageal damage. Prokinetic agents Prokinetic agents are drugs that enhance the activity of the smooth muscle of your gastrointestinal tract. These drugs are somewhat less effective than PPI. Your doctor may prescribe them in combination with an acid-suppressing drug. It's extremely painful on your chest when you have acid reflux. You just want to make it go away. What if I told you, you could make it disappear into oblivion without making your throat hurt, eating the medicine like a candy? Well, this is what Pepsid does. Chewable mint-flavored candy-like medicine that would make your acid reflux pain disappear for a whole day. Don't just take my word for it. Look at these 3,000 five-star rating. It's also important to remind you that I'm in no way sponsored by Pepsid. It's just a great brand that I found on Amazon to be an affiliate. This means that if you'd like to buy Pepsid, clicking on my link in the description would help me massively because I would be receiving a commission for each purchase. What do you think about these information? Do you think it's useful? If it is, support this channel by giving it a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to click the notification bell for more interesting facts like these.